Also new tonight, tense moments for students and staff at Capital University. A shooting blocks away from campus this afternoon triggered an alert about a possible active shooter telling everyone to find a safe place to hide. It happened in just a matter of minutes while Bexley police rushed to the scene of that shooting along Ferndale Place. Tonight, Ted Hart joins us live to explain why campus police say it was the right decision to alert the campus community. That's right, Mike, but city of Bexley police say this was not an active shooter situation and was never a threat to campus, but the university's public safety department was concerned enough by what they heard to issue a campus wide alert. Bexley police described the scene on Ferndale Place as a drive by shooting. Multiple rounds fired at a duplex. One young man was grazed by a bullet on his arm. But Capitol University officers heard the city's radio traffic, heard that suspects were headed east toward College Avenue, and put out an alert, referring to it as an active shooter and urging campus staff to seek safety. I read my phone, I was uh, shocked that it was so close that something was happening like that. Max Marcillo is working as an instructor at a middle school camp on campus. So we just tried to keep all the kids within the building, you know, nobody leaving the conservatory to go over to like the Convergent Media Center nearby or anything like that. Bexley police found a gun on the front lawn of a home on College Avenue and were questioning a couple of suspects. And the university put out a follow-up message that the immediate threat was over. And the university issued a statement late this afternoon saying that it holds to the belief that it is best to alert early for incidents that pose a significant risk rather than waiting for a situation to fully evolve. Live at Bex in Bexley, Ted Hart, NBC4. Thanks so much, Ted. New tonight.